Hello, Royal folks. Good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now, and don't forget to press that bell icon. Meghan Markle is slowly separating herself from Prince Harry. Wants to take full custody of their two children, claims a veteran royal biographer. The couple's relationship has came under the spotlight in recent weeks, following a number of high-profile incidents involving them leading up to accusations that they're close to breaking up. This has been compounded further by the fact that the pair did not do anything publicly to mark their fifth wedding anniversary on May 19th. We previously reported that the Duke of Sussex has been accused of having a private hotel at a lavish hotel complex in Los Angeles, held on standby for him to get away from his family. Or biographer Angela Levin, who written numerous books about the monarchy, claimed that Meghan was planning to break up with Harry and leave alone in America. Speaking on GB News, she said that her relationship had disintegrated very badly following the wedding. She added, if we look back that day, we discovered later that Meghan had already planned to leave the UK before she actually got married. I think she's a careful plotter. My feeling is that Harry's actually doing something that is negative, that's upsetting, that'll make you feel he hasn't succeeded. It's very lowering. And Megan is going the other way and going around in gold and going to perhaps get a big part in the firm and having a very good new agent. So she's absolutely separating from him. As she said, she hasn't been anywhere where he really needed her. He's got a mental health issue and needs somebody to prop him up. Anyone would actually, but she keeps him away. So he's doing all the nasty stuff and she's sailing ahead. I think that's the beginning of the end for him because she's planning. In my opinion, here's what she's doing. She's making sure that he's in a hopeless situation so that she can get the children and he's completely isolated from his family and friends. The couple put on a public display of affection at the LA Lakers game last month, but Megan seemed to rebuff her husband's attempt to give her a smooch when the kiss cam spotlighted them. And just last week, they released a strongly worded statement which claimed the paparazzi chased them dangerously around in New York and risked causing a serious accident. This position, disputed by the NYPD, who claimed that they had looked into the incident and not found it to be near catastrophic as described by the couple. A taxi driver who picked up Harry, Megan, and her mother, Doria Ragnold, outside the 19th precinct around 15 minutes after the group arrived, said photographers tried to take photos and capture the videos during their short time in the car. Sokrin Singh told the Washington Post, I don't think I would call it a chase. I never felt like I was in danger. It wasn't a car chase in a movie. And Harry and Meghan were quite, seemed scared, but it's New York, it's safe. What do you think about this news? Do you think Meghan's blackmailing Harry and Archie and Lilibet? Do you think Harry has had enough of the vicious game? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.